All right, I'm back with our Swords and Sandals Immortals playthrough. It has been a while, but Crixus has come out of retirement. He has heard about a new gladiator that has arrived in the world, and they are threatening our rule as the greatest gladiator in the world. There has been a new update to the game, and they have added in two new areas. There is now a level 58 area to the south, and a level 60 area and along with those two regional champions there is a new grand champion they have now added grand champion 11 to the game so the plan for today we are gonna go south i haven't done this area here it looks like but it's only level 36 and we're now level 61 so i'll probably just ignore it for now we're gonna head to the 58 area try to beat the regional there head to the 60 do the same there and then we will challenge Grand Champion 11. Well, there's not much else to say, so let's get moving. It is a nine and a half day journey, but it's fine. We have like a hundred days to defeat two champions. We should be good. All right, so in this area, we're not allowed to use any lightning magic, which is fine. We don't anyway. But there is a big chasm in the arena that can be used to throw gladiators into. Sounds like my kind of arena. Alright, you know the drill. First things first, we gotta hit up the armorer and the weaponsmith. We need to see if there's anything worth buying here. Like this shield, for example. It has like double the armor. <laughs> that is a pretty good shield. You know what? I think we're gonna buy the shield purely because of its rating. That leaves us with about 60,000. We should probably buy the shoulder guards. 400 armor compared to our current 100 armor. So we will take those. And now we're pretty much broke. So we're just going to have to leave for now. <laughs> I would check the weaponsmith. But I mean as if we're going to be able to buy anything anyway. Nah no, there's nothing here. So we're all good. Alright well I guess we head to the arena then. What are we dealing with here? They range from level 59 to 62. Their power rating is nearly 100 below us. So we're just going to run through these quickly and I will see you at the regional champion. Alright, I know we're not at the regional champion yet, but we have witnessed the chasm in the arena. And you know what we got to do, lads? This is Brando. <laughs> Adios, my friend. Adios. <laughs> Alright, it is now time to face the regional champion. Who knows what we're dealing with here. We did manage to level up twice, which is great. The regional champion has a power score of 487. A little bit higher than ours, so we might have an actual challenge on our hands. Let's give it a go. Why does this guy look like something or a green lantern? <laughs> Alright, the guy is pure evil, so we have no issue killing him. We take a look at his stats, they now have a fight record. So we have 162 wins and 3 losses. He has 202 wins but 19 losses. In terms of damage, we destroy him. Strength, destroy him. He's faster and smarter than us. He has slightly more health. Attack, we destroy him. Defense, he's a tank. <laughs> and so on. We might have a fight on our hands, but either way, let's jump into the arena and squash this bug. Alright, bug boy, we only have to roll an 8 and we can't even do that. Whoa! What is this? You can't be pulling off these fancy 360s like that. Alright, warrior strike to get rid of that armor. And now he is a naked bug. We don't like naked bugs around here. We are going to hit him with, is it the ultra smash we want to do? Why not? There goes the rest of his armor, although we need a nap. Well, we'll just uh, sleep it off for a second. And now leap alliance. The bug didn't see it coming. <laughs> we have slayed the evil bug. All hail Crixus the Gaul, champion of Dank Heart. It is time to take our rewards. We will take the agility. And you know what? We will also take the money. Why not? I don't think we need any stars right now. 
That could come back to bite us in the butt if we do need them, though. But I guess we'll level up and we will travel to the next area. Alright, we have arrived at the next area. It is a level 60 region and the rules for this area is you're not allowed to use fire magic, which again is fine, we don't anyway. But we have to do three straight fights in a row. We cannot heal or leave between the fights. That's going to be an interesting rule. But first things first, we're going to hit up the armorer. You have anything for us, my friend? Okay, that is a pretty good breastplate. I'm just going to take that instantly. Why not? Not enough gold. Oh, no. How much do we need? We need to get 17,000. Can I sell my current breastplate for 17,000? No. No, I cannot. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, we're going to have to head to the arena, defeat some champions, earn a little bit of money. One fight would probably be enough, but due to the rules, we have to do three in a row. And then we can buy that new breastplate. So, let's head to the arena. Alright, here we go. The special rules. We can't pick our opponent. It looks like it's pre-selected three for us. So, let's just jump in. It didn't even tell me what power or anything they are. Okay, 360 power. These should be pretty easy fights. But by the looks of it, we have to face the regional champion straight away. We are not allowed a break. This shouldn't be a problem though. That is one down, three to go. Another solid roll to start. The warrior strike spam. It seems to be working for us. You know what? Maybe an unholy smite. Why not? Okay, that's why not. <laughs> it really works in our favor, the unholy smite. Right, can we reach you with the leap alliance? We can. Oh, and she just threw us away. Bit rude, I won't lie. All right. Oh, we're scared. Get back in there. Why are you scared? All right. That is number two down. Two to go. All right. Come on, Skeleton. We only have to roll an eight and we can't even do that. He's fallen asleep on us already. You know what? The warrior strike, as is tradition. And now he's playing us a song. How lovely. But he is going to die either way. Sorry, my friend. Adios. Adios. Alright, here we go. Straight into the regional champion. Who's it gonna be? It is some kind of armored knight looking guy. I see how it is, buddy. You have a fair bit of armor. Your armor looks a bit creepy. But what are your stats like? Can you take us in a fight? You're also pure evil along with us. Well, we're not pure evil, we just hate everyone, you know. It is where it is. <laughs> His fight record, he has won a lot more than us. We do more damage. But stat-wise, pretty good. He is an absolute genius. I don't know how that's going to help him being a warrior. In terms of power, he's got a decent bit more than us. Could be an interesting fight. I'm a bit interested in that intellect stat, to be honest with you. Being a warrior, why do you need brains? Look at Crixus. We just do Crixus smash. We're going to roll an 8. Nice. And we're going to use Colossus. Crixus big. Alright. Now we're going to use the warrior strike. And it did nothing. It did not help us at all. Okay. How about the Leap Alliance? That did a little bit better, but still not great. The Sunder Armor, that could come in handy. Okay. We're slowly getting there, lads. We are slowly getting there. What else can we throw at this man? We can hex him. Why not? Um, Maybe we can then land... A Barbarian Storm sounds alright. Okay, a little bit more armor is gone. Now we just need a lunge at the man. Right, all of his armor is gone. So that's not a helmet or anything. That's that's his actual head. 
He's got a skull for a head. Well, I mean, we all have skulls, but I mean, you, you know what I mean. <laughs> all right, well, you know what? I bear the old Leaper Lions and he is probably dead. And there you have it. We have defeated another regional champion. All hail Crixus the Gaul, champion of ancient Toloto. I don't know. Right, we're going to take the attack. We always take the stat boost and I'll take the helmet. I think that's a pretty good helmet. The axe is really good. But wait, was there an axe? Did it say sword? Was there a sword or an axe? And did I just turn down something I really shouldn't have? If I look at my current weapon, did we just make a big mistake? I don't know. We, we might have just made a mistake nor accepting that sword. Oh no, was it a sword or was it an axe? I guess we'll never know. But either way, I am going to buy that brand new breastplate. We can sell the old breastplate and the old helmet. So we got a little bit of money, but I don't think there's really much. Oh, actually, we can buy this. Why not? We'll take some new, was it trousers? We'll also take these boots. We don't have enough money, but once I sell my old trousers, we should be able to afford the boots. So overall, not a bad haul. Got some pretty decent armor from that. All right, we're going to level up quickly and then it is time for the grand champion. All right, what is it going to be? It is time to head to the arena. It is only going to cost us 56 stars. We have over 100, so we're good to go. All right, grand champion 11, reveal yourself. Okay, we are versing Gigantis, the mustache man. He has a little mustache on his helmet. <laughs> Okay, he's a blob. He's not even a man. He's a blob in disguise. This guy. All right, in terms of record, he absolutely destroys us. In terms of height, he absolutely destroys us. In terms of weight, he absolutely destroys us. Strength, we're no match. Attack, oh man, we got a proper fight on our hands, it seems. All right, never mind. He is like the elongated blob. He's very tall, but he's kind of like, he looks a bit stretched. We only had to roll a four. But you know what? Crixus can go big as well, my friend. This is like some in our like Power Rangers or something, you know? It's a battle of the Megazords. <laughs> Alright, Warrior Strike to get rid of that armor. That was a really good Warrior Strike. What? He's got unlimited stamina. Well, that's not fair. Well... Blob's armor is gone. All right, Gigantis, what shall we hit you with? I'm feeling an Ultra Smash. I don't think we've done it in a while. Nice. That was a really good hit. And he's stunned, so I guess we just lunge and finish him off. Oh, we're not quite in range. now. That was a little bit awkward. All right. We can't leap alliance either. I guess we lunge again. And we're done. Grand Champion 11 has been defeated. Gigantis has fallen. You have defeated 11 of the 12 Grand Champions. What do we take here? We will take the Intellect. I know we don't use it, but always go for the stat boost. And we'll probably just take the money again. We seem to be running out recently. There's a lot of good items that are always on sale. Well, that is it. We have unlocked a few new areas to the south of us, but they're all low level, so I don't think it's worth wasting our days to travel to them. So, I guess that is it for now. Crixus is going to retire once again. Soon the update for Grand Champion 12 will be released. I think the developer said in about a month the final Starbound Gladiator should be in place. So we don't have too much longer to wait. But for now, Crixus is going to go into retirement, and that is going to be it for today. As always, a big thank you to the Gwaggles members for your continued support. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, and until next time, see ya.